Alright, new video on ESPN.com. Can't beat the piston. I'm Linda Simpson back here with fellow ESPN colleague Dick Bliss. Dick, is there anyone who can stop the Pistons this season? Well, Linda, the simple answer to your question is no. I mean, no one is going to stop this Detroit Pistons team. Second most wins in franchise history at 61, trailing only the 2006 Detroit Pistons, as well as riding a 21-game win streak right into the playoffs. Third longest NBA history, trailing only the 2008 Rockets and the 1972 Los Angeles Lakers. I just do not see a thing wrong with this team. You have two bona fide superstars in Dwight Howard and Carmelo Anthony, sixth man of the year candidate Terrence Ross, as well as one of the best young scorers in the game, Shabazz Muhammad. Great supporting cast with Thomas Robinson, Brandon Knight, and great defensive forces that has led to this team being one of the best defensive teams in the NBA with Andre Kirilenko, Aaron Kraft, and Andre Drummond coming off the bench. What about the Hornets? Best record in the league at 65 and 17. Well, the New Orleans Hornets do not have the playoff experience that the Detroit Pistons gained after going through a six-game final series against the Nuggets last season. Ultimately, they would lose in a seven-game series against the Detroit Pistons. For Dick Bliss, I'm Linda Simpson. Back to you, Steve. I can't sound at all like me. Good thing my name's not something stupid like Dick Bliss. Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is Straight Outta Boston, or aka the King of Boston. And today, I'm here for the Sports Commentators March Madness. What up, the core four? What up, everyone on IKC's channel? And today, I'm showing you guys some of my Detroit Pistons association. This is round one, game one of the 2015 NBA playoffs. This is year three of this association. Today, I'm going up against the Washington Wizards. I'm the number one seeded Detroit Pistons. They're the number eight seeded Washington Wizards. So let's get right into this gameplay. The Washington Wizards are a team that we faced off against in the regular season. I believe we played them in Washington. We handled them, you know, decently. I mean, I think we won by about 5 or 10 points. They're a good team. They, their roster hasn't changed too much. They've had some additions such as JJ Redick. Um, and I think, I really can't really think of anyone else at the top of my head. Timofey Mozgov. Um, but they're, they're just a team that's progressed very well. John Wall's up to a 93 overall. Bradley Beal's up to an 87. Nene's progressed a little bit, even though he has aged, and I think he's up, up into his mid-30s at this point. But he's still a very solid young power, or not young, but solid power forward. They also have, I believe, oh no, I was going to say Jared Dudley, but uh, they actually have Lazar Hayward, who's a good role player for this team. So it's just a team that's progressed a lot. You can see Tony Douglas there. As we look at the nice up-and-under move by Brandon Knight after that sweet block by Terrence Ross. But uh, Tony Douglas is another player, young player, progressed a little bit. This team has just gotten better with the core that they have currently in real life. And, um, you know, they also have JaVale McGee back on their team. So uh, he's progressed up into the 80s, I believe. So he's very, very good player at this point, very good center. Can do a little bit more on the offensive end than he can in, in real life at this point. So it's just a very good team. So they jumped out to an early lead, but we're starting to fight back right here. Terrence Ross is going to hit Aaron Kraft for three on the fast break, and Kraft's going to knock that one down. Nice shot there by Aaron Kraft, a man who we drafted in the first round in the 2014 NBA draft. But now the turnover right there. Howard gets it. It's going to give it to Thomas Robinson tonight. Back to Terrence Ross. Look at that sweet ball moving right there. That was when wow, I was freaking out when I got that play. I was like, whoa, look at that ball moving. You know, team chemistry is really looking good. We're up by two. We've made a good comeback. Shabazz Muhammad now is going to drive in and get the and one dunk. Shabazz Muhammad really showing off his athleticism right there. But anyway, this video is coming to an end shortly. So, I will say, if you guys do like this video, please vote for me in the comment section below. If not, that's fine. If you want to see more videos like these, go check out my channel. Link will probably be in the description. If not, it's youtube.com slash the Boston. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for today. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. So, I'm out. Peace. We do have the Boston Celtics versus the 76ers in this online team-up game. You can call me Creeper, you can call me Tristan, doesn't really matter. My username doesn't really mean anything. I had no actual reason for coming up with that name. It's just, it's just what it was. I wanted to start making YouTube videos, and it's that simple. So, that said, I was only able to use Avery Bradley in this game. Because Rondo is injured, obviously, and my cousin wanted to use Jason Terry. So, really, no one else to fall back to. I had to keep an eye on Avery Bradley's stamina bar, and it really showed because Avery Bradley gets super tired. And Nick Young gets super blocked, and on the fast break, we're able to capitalize with a two-pointer by Avery Bradley himself. This game was really all 76ers, though, besides this play right here. Look at, look at Brandon Bass cleaning up the mess. And to make matters worse, though, I'm shooting up a half-court shot. I don't actually remember exactly what happened right there. 
like why I shot that. I think it's because I had the RB button up and I hit X. Could be wrong. Down by 13 in the fourth quarter, largest deficit of the game. Jason Terry catching some late game fire, making it a 10-point game. And check this out, Paul Pierce down low knows how to pass. He's been working on his passing game a lot. Really good player. 76ers are answering, though, making it a nine-point game. We're going to skip ahead, though, to the 235 mark. We have a five-point game. Check this out. Getting blocked. Kevin Garnett redeeming himself after getting stuffed and showing up. Really doing some terrible decision-making early in the game, making it a three-point game. Now, check this out. Right here, my cousin's like, no, it's too bad you have to use Avery Bradley, you know, because I don't know if he can really shoot that well. I'm like, dude, Avery Bradley can shoot. Check this out. And I missed and then, you know, the fast break happens. You got Evan Turner. Really good at fast breaks. I don't know what it is. Evan Turner knows how to run the fast breaks, or maybe we just don't know how to defend them. Probably a mixture of both. But like I said, Jason Terry catching fire late in the game. Four-point game down low to Garnett. Doing some work in the post. Another two-point game. 76ers down low. No. Our defense in the front court started to just really pick up. And that's really just what changed the game. It was that and then Jason Terry doing big things, fouling out Nick Young, going to the line, possibly tie it up. First free throw is good. Nothing but net. And then the second one is good. So tied at 58, 24 seconds left. We got Holiday. Can I even stay in front of my guy? Usually don't. This time I did a decent job. It will close out. Getting fouled, going to the line, taking a one-point lead. First lead in a long, long, long... Have we even had the lead this game? Don't even know. Don't care. Just got it. Tied up. 7.9 left in the game. Jason Terry on fire with the ball. Actually passes it to me, Avery. And I'm passing it right back to Jason Terry for the game? Of course it's going to go in. I mean, I have to keep this under four minutes. I'm not going to show overtime in like 50... Like uh, two seconds, you know? Anyway, it's been Creeper. See you guys another time.